Hey everyone, Richard here at True North Chevrolet and Cadillac. And today I'm gonna to give you the inside look into one of our 2021 Chevrolet Silverado High Country models. This particular High Country has the 6.2 liter engine, a sunroof, and surround view vision. And if you have any questions, give me a call at the dealership or send me an email. Thanks guys. Now let's take a closer look inside. Hey everyone, so here's a front look at the 2021 Chevrolet Silverado High Country model. So you can always tell it's a 6.2 liter engine because of the symbol right here on the hood. Right below the black Chevy emblem, you have your front facing camera. On the bumper, you have your parking sensors. Below that, you have your fog lights, a convenient in place block heater. You got your recovery hooks all LED lighting very nice looking wheels when you open the door you get your nice power running boards on the driver's door you have your two-person memory you have our power mirrors power windows you got your upgraded Bose speaker sound system on the driver's seat you have all powered so your lumbar your tilting and your back and forward motion on the left side of the steering wheel we have our mode knob which we will put it into tow mode you see the little icon there at the bottom when you turn to the right you have your sport mode off-road mode and of course your normal mode then you have your transfer case controls right here your fog light controls and then you have your bed lighting these controls here for your headlights and then right here is for your heads up display so I'll give you a nice look at that right on the windshield you can actually change the information that you see as well there's your navigation information and you got off-road information on the steering wheel we have our heated steering wheel our forward collision alert which works with the adaptive cruise controls and then here's your cruise controls right here. So you can see on that little icon that you have a little vehicle beside it. That means you have adaptive cruise control. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have our Bluetooth controls and then our information display control. So all right here. So you're gonna use the arrow keys to go to the left or right and then you have your thumb wheel here to go down for your trip one, trip two, oil life, tire pressure, air filter life, brake pad life, fuel economy information. Then you go to the right, you have your music information, your navigation navigation information. So if you have a destination set, you'll be able to see the directions right here. Phone information, and you have different option menu information. Now, right here at the top is your rear view mirror. This rear view mirror is also a camera. Just by simply flipping this switch, it becomes a camera. It's also second generation, so you could actually zoom in and out with it. See, we're zooming it out, and we could also zoom in with it. And you press it one more time, we could also change the angle of this rear view mirror camera. And then just simply flip the switch to bring it back to normal. Now on the infotainment display, here's a look at your audio setup, Sirius XM radio, your Bluetooth device that's connected. When you click more, if you had a USB device connected into this vehicle, it would also show up right here. This is where we're gonna connect your phone. You have your navigation. Very easy, nice and touch responsive. You got your Wi-Fi right there, different users, your settings. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Those are all gonna be standard. You also have a split screen as well. You have your different trailering apps. You could do a trailering light test right here from inside your vehicle. Different apps that you could use. Uh, you have your OnStar services, your climate controls. You could control those from on the display different camera views so you have your front facing camera your rear facing camera 
you have your 360 view you have your rear tire as well as you have your front tire and Sirius XM radio information now just below that is all your climate controls so you have automatic dual zone climate controls here so all you gotta do is set the temperature to automatic your vehicle will adjust accordingly or you could also change the fan speed downwards right there below your climate controls you have your heated seats right here one two and then you have ventilated seats also known as cooled seats you have your lane keep assist you have your parking sensors the ability to turn those off or on you have your engine stop technology you can turn that off if you'd like you have your tailgate release you have your four-way flashers your traction control you can turn that off you have your 120 volt here in the bed you got to turn that on from inside here and then you got your run power running boards uh, you could bring that so that you could adjust that to extend to the bed of the vehicle and I'll show you how that works uh, you have your trailer and brake right here USB-C and a USB charging port 12 volt outlet and you have a 120 volt outlet wireless charging two cup holders nice big center console here with a light a USB-C, a USB, and auxiliary. That SD card there is for your navigation. Let's take a look inside the rear seats. There's your power running boards again. Now that power running board button I showed you inside will give you the ability right here. We'll push that again. And as you see, it goes right to the back of the bed of the vehicle. So it makes it very easy to access, access the bed of the vehicle. Simply push that button again, and it goes back to the way it was. Between the two front seats, you have the buttons for the heated rear seats, a USB-C, a USB, and a 12 volt outlet. You have your rear seat in storage, and you have your underneath rear storage. Capless fill. All you gotta do is double tap and the tailgate will be released. You have a total of 12 tie down hooks. You have a bed light and a nice 120 volt in the back of the bed. Simply double tap again and hold, and the tailgate will go upwards, 100% powered. You have your corner steps there on the side, as well as your rear parking sensors. Absolutely stunning. If you guys have any questions on the 2021 Chevrolet Silverado High Country, give me a call to dealership at 705-472-1210 or send me an email. Thanks guys, I look forward to seeing you at the dealership.